Okay, so now you wanna make love to me Girl, if you don't get the fuck from me I know you thought we had something special But you don't mean nothing to me Girl, I'm sorry you not the one for me Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy. It's Supercharged. And today, we're going to be talking about American muscle cars. So right now, we have a Corvette. And this is a beautiful car. I have it in yellow. I would prefer red. But right now, it's in yellow with a, like, the black outline hood with the vent right there. Now, stuff about the Corvette. So as we pull that up. It is, this is 2017, it's a Z, it has the Z06 package. This runs about $80,000 base without like any like, added on stuff like luxury seats or something. Like you know, you get this color and you pay more. None of that. It comes with a 6.2 liter V8. Very powerful engine. About 650 horsepower. And this beast. Now this is modified in the game, so it has a lot more than that. This uh, it weighs about three thousand five hundred to, yeah, it weighs about three thousand five hundred pounds. And it can get up to fifteen to twenty-two miles per gallon if you drive it easy. Put that in highway gear. Cruise. Now, if you want the Z06 manual, it is actually $79,450. If you want it in an automatic, sorry for me not paying attention if you want an automatic it's about $86,000 so that's some fun facts about the Corvette very mean car turns pretty good but that's in the game with modifications Ah, oh, okay. So, a bucket list challenge to complete nearby. Be quiet. Would you like me to set a route there Shh, for you? Be quiet. So this is the Corvette Z06. Now let's go on to the Dodge Hellcat. All right, so this is the 2015 Hellcat, and uh, MSRP is about sixty-two thousand dollars, or a little bit more than that. Um, it has about 707 horsepower. The weight of the car is kind of heavy. About 4,500 pounds. But it all makes up with 707 horsepower. And 650 pound-feet of torque. see right now you're going very fast now you do not take turns at 140 miles per hour but it works so this has a 6.2 liter v8 in it with a supercharger on it now this car you put it eco mode okay so right here on the right right on the screen there's you can set up like tr okay so it goes uh, default Sport custom track if you put it on eco mode down towards the bottom You will actually get about 22 miles to the gallon that, That's pretty amazing for a 700 horsepower car And that's it on this challenger Hellcat now we're gonna go on to a Viper Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is the Viper ACR. So, this car is powerful and a beast. Now look at that. This is a mean Viper made by Dodge. So, this is the 2017 Viper ACR. 
Uh, the MSRP is about $118,000. That's like bare with everything, like base of this ACR package. Um, it has an 8.4 liter V10, which, as you can see, there's a Hellcat parked in that house. But this V10 is powerful. Not the best sounding car, but if you cam it, slash straight pipe it, you can make it sound pretty good and mean. Now, if you look at it from the front, as I will show you, below, this car looks very mean with that spoiler, even though you can't see it. So how about we reset everything where you can see it? No, no, no. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, I don't think you will. Okay, so now if you look at it from right about here, had the lights off, this thing looks mean. You see the wing in the background? It literally looks like a snake is about to bite you and eat you. So this powerful 8.4 liter V10 comes with 645 horsepower. Not a, not a, a little bit less than the Corvette, a little bit, about five horsepower. But this is a light car. It's about 200 pounds lighter than the Corvette, so it's 3,300 pounds. Uh, it gets about 12 to 19 miles to the gallon, which for me, I would be getting like six. Um, it comes with 600 pounds feet of torque. Now, the good thing about this is it doesn't have top end with the aero kit. This is the ACR. What it does have is 13 track records, and it's street legal. As I can just took that torn corner at 110. This was a sharp one, and I'm not the best at this game. But, as I point out, I'm not the best at this game. But this car handles amazingly if you buy one. And it can beat cars a million dollars over times nine its price. It can beat McLaren. It can beat Porsche 918. It's just endless. This car is... The Europeans say Americans cannot build cars that can turn. And Dodge took that and said, BET! And this is what happened. Now if I ever got one, I would get this maroon paint job. A black stripe with a white driver's stripe. Offset driver's... Offset stripe? Or is it driver's stripe? I do not know. Now this car... That McLaren came flying. This car, right now in this game, has about a thousand horsepower. Twin turboed. Amazing. Um, stock, I'm pretty sure the tires come with 375s on the rear, which are huge. Looks really cool from behind. Now look at that. This car is just an overall beast. Now let's get on to the Mustang GT350. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sh Shelby GT350. And it sounds amazing. Now these, the Mustangs these years look amazing. They spot on, I think it looks better than a lot of other years of the newer kinds. So this is about MSRP $63,000. It's a little bit cheaper than the Hellcat. But it comes with less horsepower. So this has about 526 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque with 91 octane in it. And 93 octane is better for it. Now, it is a six-speed manual. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't get automatics in Mustangs, really, unless you have a, like a, I think you can GT and a, a V6, you can get it in, but the 350s, I don't even know why you would want a manual in the, I mean, automatic in these, 
No, this thing weighs about 3,600 pounds. So it's a little bit over the Corvette. Viper, 300 pounds less. A lot less than the Hellcat. Which gives it the advantage. This thing still rips. You guys can see. Now you can also get the GT350R. And that comes with like the spoiler and with a little bit better. Not too much, just a little bit better. Has same horsepower and torque around the track. But to be honest, I think I like the GT350 looks better. With the lip spoiler, in my opinion. Still, I'd get take either one, but this is a, a remarkable car. Sounds amazing. I'm pretty sure Ford uh, patented the sound for the Mustang. To be honest, to me, it kind of sounds like a, a V8 in a can. Little can exhaust. Me hitting everything. Now, there's a lot of uh, memes. Used to be a lot of memes of Mustangs running into people and I'm gonna show you if that is true so we're gonna find like a parking lot up here we're gonna park in it act like there's a car meet we spent for price okay so we're gonna leave the parking lot we're gonna nail it on the corner, lose control, slide the other way, and then crash into the wall, and it goes viral. That's what they get. What you do is this is how you properly properly leave a meat. You leave the meat. If you really, you could drift it, half throttle maybe. I wouldn't trust Mustang people, and then get on it. And do like a little burnout or just floor it and have the noise. But these cars look amazing. I give props to Ford for making these. The looks of it look stunning from the outside. Interior, not much of a difference. I feel like I can do a little bit better. Especially, you can't even... I sat in the one back of these. And you have to lean your head. I'm not even that tall, I'm 5'11", five, five, okay, I guess I'm a little bit taller than some people. You have to bend your head to the left. This is the most uncomfortable thing. You can get a 2013 Mustang and have a lot more room than, I did not see that corner, than this Mustang. It looks better, but if you have kids, you better hope they're young because they're not going to fit in the back and it's very uncomfortable or have a different car, like a van. But this is the GT350, amazing car, just beautiful. And now, let's get on to the Cadillac CTSV. Now, as I get the Cadillac CTSV, I had to buy it since I realized I did not have it. So this is bone stock compared to all the other cars. But the Cadillac CTSV looks amazing. I love the looks of it. It by far is, looks better than a, a Charger Hellcat. But, low key, the Charger is a little bit faster. Okay, so, this is an $83,000 car, base MSRP for the V. It has 640 horsepower, which is a lot for a Cadillac, even though it uses a Chevy motor in it. It weighs about 4,000, 4,100 pounds. Now the Hellcat's about like three, 400 more than it. But I think the weight helps it from spinning and it has more power. So if you get the Hellcat not to spin, you will, you will walk this car. You can look it up in videos. Make sure the Hellcat's an automatic because the manuals are kind of slow. But let's keep talking about this. If you put this in the lowest setting, this V, you can get about 21 miles to the gallon. Which is really good for these cars. Another thing I want to talk about is interior. The interior looks epic. I love how that little red line follows you. 
Look, boom. 7,000. I love it how it just follows your, or for your RPMs. Look at that. All the way. This car looks amazing. Uh, this has the same 6.2 liter V8. It has about 630 torque. Come on, Mini Cooper, go. Now, the best thing about this is you're paying $83,000. You can either buy a Corvette and save three grand and buy like a Pro Charger or something. Or you can buy this, have fun in it, have really good looking car. I mean, a really good looking car. And just rip the streets. Now, if I had the money, overall, I'd probably pick the Corvette and Pro Charge it. But. I still think this looks better than a Corvette, a Charger, a Camaro. This they are spot on with this car. It looks better than the old Cadillac. I love the four door carbon fiber little lip on the back. Looks amazing. That's all I have to say for this. And let's go to the Chevy Camaro SS. And this will be the last one. <clears throat> okay guys. We are here with the Chevy Camaro. This has about a thousand horsepower, but we're gonna talk stock. Now the SS has is a V8, 455 horsepower, so close to the Mustang. 6.2 liter V8. There we go. Uh, this comes with a six speed manual or you can get a 10 speed automatic which is fast if you get the 10 speed automatic in this it's really good if you get the 8 speed automatic in the Hellcat that's really good and if you get the 8 speed in the Corvette that's really good I'm pretty sure it's an 8 speed um that but the a Corvette has a 7 speed manual which is pretty cool now GM uh I didn't like the back at first like down here to the left right under that taillight that's where they put the badges like where those sensors are oh my god that looks ugly I'll debadge it right then and there but this Corvette looks amazing if you lower it from the back you cam it I said Corvette I meant to say Camaro if you cam Camaros they sound so mean put a big cam in it and they're like uh, this year I love the front let's not hit that car the front looks amazing, it looks mean. People that change it, like, uh, have the thing where you can change colors, LED and stuff. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice is going up. Um, the one thing down about this car, I feel like, is interior. Not big fan of the interior. The back, you can't even fit anyone in it. Basically, two-door. They try to make it like the Mustang and the Challenger. The Challenger can actually fit people in it. We actually have a Challenger in our family, a newer one, uh, higher model, and a Mustang, higher model, and the Challenger is by far the best. I sat in, uh, we went to a dealership so I can sit in the back of a Camaro to see what it felt like. Could even get my legs in it. I don't think anyone can. There's not even a centimeter of space between the front seat and your seat. Unless you want to sit crisscross applesauce. Now this does have paddles, but they aren't shifters. Um, they're actually active rev match, which means, which is what I think it means, is you hit it, you turn it on, and it will downshift. And if you're at 4,000 RPMs, when you downshift, it will stay at 4,000 RPMs when you take the corner. Which you can't turn it on in this game, but it'll be like, boom, 4,000, boom, 4,000. Kind of like that. Now, the, as I'm going to say, as I'm driving through the dirt, because I'm not paying attention, the interior is not the best. Not the big fan of it. They're, they're slowly stepping it up. I'm starting to like it. The outside, they're getting a lot, little better. Not a big fan of the back. I'm starting to, starting to like it. Um, but the 10 speed automatic in this car is crazy. Now this has a thousand horsepower. 
Now, if you could cam it in this game, like actually have it cammed like real life, this car would be bad. To the A. Because camming Camaros are like the best thing you can do. That's like the number one mod for Camaros or camming it. Um, right now I have a 73 Camaro Z28. If you follow it's supercharged on Instagram, I'll start posting stuff and doing vlogs about it. It actually has a cam in it. Like the number one thing you do. And it's just not any cam, you throw the biggest cam you could find in it. So that's it guys. Um, there is no best American muscle car. It's just how you appear it. Um, it's whatever like you feel. Um, is your opinion. Because they can all, they all have good things. Like in their, they all have strengths and weaknesses in different areas. And they all win in that subject that the other cars don't. So any car's a winner. Um, as I should say, I didn't get the prize for it. Let me get the prize. Hold on. Now this, the, the problem I'm talking, the SS is not the highest model. It's actually the ZR, ZL1 pretty sure and that comes with about 650 horsepower now the SS is about MSP uh, MSRP of $25,000 that's like the base of everything let's look at the higher model with the 650 didn't have it in this game so and we're gonna pull that up it's about 650 horsepower 3,800 pounds so almost 4,000 pounds actually it can be 4,000 pounds with modifications almost 4,200 pounds still 6.2 liter V8 all of them are like 6.2 liters it has 650 horsepower I said this multiple times but 650 foot pounds of torque which is funny and the car runs about $61,000 so this is a little bit less than the Mustang, a little bit less than the Hellcat, but they are all really in range. Um, for the better deal, I think you should rather get the Camaro than the Mustang. Like pricing it, more horsepower, somewhat of the same weight. Um, you can get the 10 speed and be a little bit faster, but the Mustang has better stuff in some areas. Than the Camaro, and the Camaro has better stuff than that. Hellcat's better in a straight line. It's just like that. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed. American Muscle is like on your opinion. And goodbye. Muscle cars are life. American Muscle cars. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And goodbye. Hit that subscribe button, like button.